Here is the current state of the FDA-approved AI-based medical technologies. Back then, at the Medical Futurist Institute, you were the first ones to publish a study about the first FDA-approved AI-based medical technologies. In 2020, we had to deep dive into the FDA's website because they didn't have a database back then. Then we found 64 devices. A year later, the FDA cited our study and published their own AI-focused database. So now we can all publicly analyze what we find inside. Here are a few insights about that. First of all, there is almost an exponential growth over the years. Just to give you a comparison, in 2017, the FDA authorized only 26 devices. In 2023, it was 221 devices. So we can fairly forecast that there will be more than 200 devices authorized in 2024. So by 2025, we will get through 1.5K devices. Right now, it's 650 approvals altogether. Regarding medical specialties, that is one clear winner here that stands out of the crowd. You can imagine which one. Radiology is the one here. They have more than 700 approved devices focusing on radiology. That's actually 76% of all the approvals across the spectrum. The second one is cardiology or cardiovascular as one category with almost 100 devices. And then you find medical specialties with some devices like urology, hematology, neurology, gastroenterology, and ophthalmology, of course, among others. Regarding submission types, you find three big players here with one, again, clear winner. The 510K pathway is the easiest route for companies because if they produce or develop an equivalent device that's already legally marketed, then they can use this submission type. Thus, you find more than 900 devices, actually 97% of all approvals within the 510K category. We find then 22 approvals with the de novo pathway and four, just four with the pre-market approvals. And regarding which companies stand out that submitted these applications, we have two clear winners, GE Healthcare and Siemens Health in their standing out with 81 and 70 applications respectively. But you also find some other companies with dozens of approved devices like Philips, Canon, ADOC, United Imaging Healthcare, Rapid AI or Samsung Electronics. Kudos to all these companies being able to get their devices approved by the FDA. So analyzing this database gives us a picture from time to time about where the AI progress is heading in medicine and healthcare because the FDA is the world's most forward-looking regulatory body and they know what they are doing. So very soon they will even regulate advanced adaptive artificial intelligence algorithms and generative AI too. If any of these happens, of course, I will be here to discuss it with you. Until then, please check out our other videos and subscribe to The Medical Futurist. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the Digital Health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.